All right, guys, follow up video to what we had posted earlier. Uh, actually got some emails, people are concerned, saying, hey, wait a minute, Eve's palette only has 40 batteries, but I paid you for 48. What the heck is going on? We had a customer panicking. So uh, this is for that customer in the northwest. Uh, Don't worry, they are 48. So this is sort of, we kind of opened up just to kind of show you how it sort of arrives. Um, what you're going to get is you're going to get eight boxes that contain six cells each. And then you'll have sort of a center uh, box. Uh, we will put your bus bars and stuff in here. And if you've ordered some BMSs or some miscellaneous things, those will also be packed here. Um, it's just a box we have just for auxiliary stuff so that we can add it now the reason we go with this setup instead of that 40 um, that 40 cell eve palette main reason is this is the footprint of this is similar to a traditional palette and that makes it much easier to provision it when it's being loaded up in a container um, this is a small shipment normally when we have a shipment we will probably have um, I don't know, close to 60 of these pallets come in on a 40 foot container and you can basically line two by two sides and this side size actually, you know, fits much easier. So that's the main reason why it's the footprint makes more sense with these larger pallets. So that's what we go with. We also have some customers that actually do want to maximize space. So in that case, they'll say, hey, uh, send us you know, 54 cells, and you can actually send this as a 54 cell setup, but for the most part, 48 is what it is, but if someone needs 54 cells for like a total of 108, it can be done as well, and we'll just sort of put the bus bars in a sort of auxiliary box or something. But anyway, let's sort of see how they're packed. So I've got one opened up. So you got a thin piece of foam, and they're, like I said, they're gonna be six per, uh, per box. Now. This is not going to bend or anything. I know some people have concerns that it's going to bend. There's hardly any stress in here, and it's loosely packed. So it, there's no physical force pressing down on these, on these cells, which can happen with the sort of the standard Eve packaging. Plus, you've got a strong plywood, you know, uh, thing protecting it. So we're going to pull some cells out and show you how they are. So give me a second. It's going to be tricky to pull these out. Actually, it's not bad at all. It comes out pretty easily. I guess we're used to our packaging, which people have claimed, hey, that's crazy. Anyway, here's one of the cells. And as you can see, there is no bending or twisting. It is perfectly straight. And these are the version 3 eaves do you see how they have the sort of a hexagonal or octagon pentagon whatever the correct uh, polygon is for that size so it is welded that way and it's it's going to appear to you you know just fine and and we're going to do a test but uh these uh version 3 280ks they're saying they're hitting close to a thousand watt hours. So this could be a potentially uh, one kilowatt cell. And one other thing I really, really am happy about. Do you see that? No more stupid hole in the middle of that vent. Um, I cannot tell you how many people had would call and say, hey, I've got leakage in the cell. And it, it wasn't leakage. It's just that that little hole would let moisture come in and it would sort of condense on the inside and it would make it look like it's leak cell. I'm so happy that they, they got rid of that and now this is sort of, um, you know, how it is. Anyway, we're gonna do some tests. It'll be a few days, but hopefully that answers that question. Um, you know, no, uh, you are getting good at 48 cells. We're not gonna send you 40 cells. It's just that our palette is slightly different. And it's more optimized for logistical reasons. A typical 40 by 48 inch type palette is just able to, you know, uh, be a little more efficient in terms of, you know, what the industry is sort of set up for. And that's sort of how we do it. So 
yeah, hopefully that answers that question. And like I said, just check back. There's going to be a couple of videos coming back to back with these 280K and their testing. So that's going to be interesting. And uh, we'll just sort of take it from there. All right. Thank you.